Hi guys, Ollie here. Today we're talking about Natrum. Na na Natrum. Na Natram? Natram. 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 Not 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 Natram. Natrum, alright? It's a one-man project from South Germany. Lucas Grasslin uh, performs all the instruments and uh, does all the orchestrations. Released in March this year, it's purely an instrumental album. Uh, so no death growls here, sorry guys. Uh, but there's more than enough going on here um, to keep your attention. The pacing is actually pretty good for an instrumental album of this length. There are enough changes throughout the tracks in terms of atmosphere and tone and variety of instrumentation um, to keep things sounding pretty fresh and dynamic throughout. The track listing is uh, Into Crow's Woods, The Wolf, uh, Interlude, Storm Road, and An Ominous Journey. I feel this album would work quite well with vocals. Um, like, I imagine in future this project could go quite well with, like, session singers. Now, people like Russell Allen from Symphony X, his voice would work quite well. Um, or even Marco Hietala from, from Nightwish. Uh, but maybe that's against the idea of this project. Maybe it's not supposed to be that kind of thing. Now, Lucas is clearly an accomplished guitarist. Um, but this album is not just an endless wank fest, like uh, in the vein of an Ingvi Malmsteen album or a um, Steve Vai album. I'd almost say that the, um, the, the, the rhythm parts interest me more than the leads, strangely. Um, imagine, well, a way I like to sort of describe this album, uh, the sound, is imagine if Ensiferum um, and Two Steps From Hell uh, made Time One. <laughs> That's that, you'd get something like this. Let me know down there in the comments what you think this style uh, reminds you of the most. I'm struggling to find something I dislike about this album. You need to understand this album within the context of it being an instrumental. So saying it'd be better with vocals is not really a valid criticism. This album does not need vocals. Sure, it would sound pretty good with vocals, and the way it's structured sounds like it almost had vocals in mind. Um, however, you, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't listen to this album thinking, I wish there were vocals. Just listen to the guitar work. Listen to the intricate orchestrations. There is genuinely an intriguing atmosphere going on here. Now here's some previews of the songs. For higher quality versions uh, of, of the songs as well as the artwork, uh, go check out the Bandcamp page. You can even choose how much you'd like to donate to get your hands on a download link. Like, you could donate 14 cents if you want, but that'd be a dick move, so don't do that. I donated 5 euros, which is something like 8 Australian dollars, because I am a cheapskate, but I'm not a total bastard, alright? Like I said in my review of uh, Atavistia's One Within the Sun, um, one of the most important things to remember about these, that this music from these new artists is they're emerging at a time in this in this industry where it's getting progressively more and more difficult to earn a living uh, or to even really get recognized in the sea of, of stuff that's being released on, on, a, on a weekly basis. So I'm all in favor of supporting artists like this who demonstrate this level of um, potential. In summary, buy this fucking album. It's metal as fuck. <laughs> 